This is Holloway. Sorry, rather, Simon Barker. Ferdinand. Now Holloway. Now Holloway. He tried to chip it over. Ferdinand. Oh, wonderful goal, Ferdinand. It's the only sight of Villa's goal that he's had in the first 44 minutes. But he didn't hesitate, did he? It did bounce, perhaps a little kindly for him, right on the edge of the penalty area. But it was a lovely height for the Rangers number nine. And he beat Nigel Spink right up in the top corner. Now Wilkins, regularly making his run. Well, he's come out of a tight corner still with the ball. And Luton rather melting away in front of him. And Wegerly scores his fourth of the season. It's Wilkins, away by the skipper, Keith Curl, now Sinton, QPR could do with a bit of magic from him, maybe this is it, it is, it is, oh what a goal, Andy Sinton, from nothing, the England international winger has struck back in devastating fashion. Well I did see him, he was a potential man to get him back in the game, and he pushes it, produces a shot here of real venom. It's a little bit too much space, you can't allow that. But look at that for a finish. It's Gallup. Good skill by Gallup. Turns, has a shot. Oh, that is just tremendous from Kevin Gallup. Goal of real quality for Queen's Park Rangers. Gallant left two defenders for dead, turned round another. Parker trying to drop it over the top. Where Wegerly is chasing and perhaps doing a bit of pushing as well, but he's got possession and the referee hasn't flown and he's got another goal. Well, having lost his total monopoly on Queen's Park Rangers goals this season, with Sinton and Wilkins scoring in the second half, Wegerly reasserting himself 4-1. That's a corner, nothing more dramatic than that, but that still could be dramatic for Queen's Park Rangers if they get it in right. It's a fantastic goal from Nigel Quasi. He got it right. Well, wow, what a magnificent strike from the young kid. He's been threatening to connect with through passes all night. Well, he connected. Wasn't a through pass, but it was a magnificent shot. He just backs away from everybody. Dupre gets the header, but not far enough or strong enough. And that is quite a magnificent strike. Power and accuracy. What a shot from the 17-year-old. He scored a Tranmere in round three to help Queen's Park Rangers through. He scored here sensationally. The free kick now for Queen's Park Rangers. They have a number of options here. Wilson's there, but Ferdinand steps up. And, oh, and what a strike! Les Ferdinand with a brilliant goal for Queen's Park Rangers. The power behind that was quite something else. Bent it right round the wall and into the top corner. On the way once again, it's a through to Ferdinand. 
Oh, nice turn by Solaire. What can he do now? Right to the edge of the box. Great goal! Ferdinand is massive! Ferdinand is massive! Puyaka, Puyaka! Incredible! Les Ferdinand makes it 3 1 to Rangers. And just look, he knows what he's doing. His head's down. The Wimbledon defenders are trailing. And no mistake with this emphatic right foot finish. 3 1 Rangers. Here's Peacock. Liverpool's struggling to get it away. It's going to come out to Wilkins. Wilkins! And it's in! Ray Wilkins with a magnificent strike right past Bruce Gravelock. Well, the team are happy. They're celebrating. That was brilliant by Ray Wilkins. And they're happy as well. Jubilation in the terraces. You won't see many shots like that this season. out Barker Rangers try and construct things from the back and and calmly they go about their work here's Ferdinand closing in on the edge of the box now Les Ferdinand to be a great goal if he could score and he's done that great goal there from Les Ferdinand terrific stuff and that's put Rangers level he was past more and as soon as that was the case, the goal was always likely.